Okay, guys, welcome to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be making a delicious pot roast in the crock pot. So get ready. We got all our seasons, and we're, the special ingredient we're gonna be using today is Coca-Cola. We're gonna put Coke in our crock pot. Okay, so get ready. Got all my stuff for the roast. So first, we're gonna start out with a half a can of Coca-Cola. Okay, then we're gonna add our beef broth, beef broth, okay? So we're gonna add beef broth. That's my other phone going off, so disregard that. All right, so we're adding our beef broth. We're gonna add carrots and potatoes and onions to this dish. I'm not adding celery because I don't like celery, okay? So half a container of the beef broth. Then we're gonna add our potatoes next. So I'm just gonna put the potatoes in that I've already diced up, put them in beside the meat, next to the meat, All right? Just on the sides. The next thing we're gonna add is our carrots. So I've already taken some carrots, some rather large carrots, and I've diced them up, sliced them up rather, not diced, sliced. Okay, I'm gonna put those in the pot, okay? I'm gonna turn the pot on too high, and I'm gonna let this cook for four hours. Okay, next I'm going to add, I took one big large onion and I quartered it. So I'm just gonna just break it up into some smaller pieces, like so, and stick it in there. That's gonna add so much flavor to this recipe, okay? So just stick it in there. You can leave it quartered if you want to and stick it in there. I've done that before. Makes, makes a pretty pot. Okay, stick those in there. And there you go. Now if you want to, you can put your seasonings on top of all of this. Got some pepper, move it over so you can put some on the meat. Probably should have seasoned the meat before I put it in the crock pot, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Before I put the other ingredients in there, I probably should have seasoned my meat. So you guys learn from my mistakes. Okay. Now I gotta move this stuff around. I'm trying to get this meat seasoned. So what I'm using is uh, Griller's Choice. This is a great mixture of a lot of different seasonings and it makes your food and flavor of your food just come out so wonderful. So I'm just gonna put some on top of these onions and all this is gonna soak through once the meat has started to cook. I'm gonna add a little bit of celery powder to it. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of onion powder, just a little bit because we already have our onions in there. So about a tablespoon of onion powder. And there you go. It's ready for the top. So I'm gonna to put the top on here. And we're gonna let it cook slow for four hours. Then we'll check on it and see how things are going with it four hours from now. So we'll come back and check on it in four hours and we'll come back and, and if it's not done, we'll let it cook another couple of hours until it's juicy and pulls apart so easily. All right, thanks for tuning in and we'll come back when we have our finished product. Okay, now we're ready to check our crock pot. It's been about, actually it's been about eight hours because I had a lot of water in my crock pot, so I decided to take some of the liquid out and make a gravy with it. So I took out some excess liquid, I put it in this cup, all right? Then I'm going to add to it, just to be quick, we're gonna add some uh, Pioneer grape Brown Gravy Mix to this um, cup. So the juices are hot, so it should stir well. There's Bella, my granddaughter. Hi. Say hi, Bella. Hi, everybody. All right, so I'm gonna take this fork, and I'm going to get this fork, and I'm going to stir this Gravy mixture. I'll show you what I'm doing. 
in a second. So basically, I'm just stirring this gravy. Ouch! Hit my elbow. Stirring this gravy mixture in this cup right here. I'm going to pour it right back into the crock pot. This is like a hack or, you know, quick way to make your gravy. And it still have the broth from the beef taste. So just pour it right back in there. Just like so. And there you have, you have some savory, savory and delicious roasted pork. I mean, roasted beef. Okay. So look, it's so soft, it's, it's just gonna tear right off. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna tear right off. I don't need a knife. It's so tender. This has been cooking for eight hours. And see that big juicy taste right there? Doesn't it look delicious? I'm going to sample it for you. It's hot. Mmm, that is good. So good. So I'm just gonna turn this on low now and let it cook just for a few more minutes and then this will be it'll be ready to serve. I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Ella dishes it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Say bye, Bella. Bye. That's Bella. <laughs>